Hello, Jane Faze here from Sydney, Australia. Today I'm going to show you through a few steps in the, my collage process. I have pulled this lovely image transfer from a magazine and I thought I would make that into a collage. Now there are a few steps in doing so and just to, for the ease of videoing, I'll do it in a few steps of the video as well. So what you need to start with is a mixed media paper which will flatten well once you've applied multiple layers and glued a few layers. The next thing is a good image transfer, which I pulled off the plate yesterday. Um, and I like to have really nice, compelling, attractive eyes that I'm drawn to and will become the focal point in the collage. The next thing is I like to put some text under the face. I'm quite fussy with the page I choose. I don't want it to have lots of distracting elements, something quite plain, but it just does add a bit of a feature. Now obviously for this woman, she was a darker skin, so I don't want to lay this image over white paper, which would not suit and would not be realistic um, colour. And so what I've done is photocopied that same page onto some brown craft paper. And so my plan is that I will be collaging her face over that text, which I think looks quite nice. Then my next layer is to, so what I'll be doing is adhering this image onto the brown and get, uh, flattening that down well, drying it, flattening it down well before I proceed with other stages. But I'm just going to talk you through some of the other elements that I'm thinking of using. This is an old gel print that I didn't think was successful at the time, but I did keep and I felt that I do feel that some of the elements torn up could look quite nice in this collage. I'm thinking of keeping it quite neutral. So grey tones, cream tones, um, the bronze that I've got in here, which would also work in well with uh, the colour I've, I've got here. The next part of the collage I'm thinking of using is uh, this image transfer, which was also a magazine image, but it had lots of lovely patterns. So I'm planning to tear that out and collage that in and just use it as a subtle uh, element of pattern in my collage, which I do love. Speaking of pattern, I find that stencils and stamps are a great way of adding pattern. These are from Stencil Girl and have the most amazing range. And so I'm, I have quite a few that I've collected over um, my time. And so these are, I like to use two usually uh, complementary but different patterns and texture plates. So they're a couple that I'm thinking of incorporating at the moment in this. And the other element which I like to use are torn poster fragments. These are just torn off a wall somewhere under a railway line um, close to me. I like the randomness, the aged um, textures, the dirty, uh, just really rough and ready they are. So I like to use those and I feel that this soft pinky apricot will work quite nicely with the blacks and the greys. So that's where I'm heading. I'll, um, my first step will be to use some matte medium with a brush and uh, brushing over this paper, adhering that on and gluing that down. And then I'll be then able to glue that onto my mixed media card and um, continue layering 
the other elements in the collage. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.